This week on Dedicated Discussions... Fuck, what's the story? Oh my know, god, really? You got me all screwed up now. <laughs> Xbox, Black, Black Friday. Friday. Okay, okay, last time, go. This week on Dedicated Discussions... Don't steal my line. No, because you screwed up the first four times. This week on Dedicated Discussions... Who won Black Friday, Dan? I don't care, because Ubisoft is in Ming, they screwed up with ACU. <laughs> of course they did, because they always screw up. The PlayStation turned 20, and they announced some kind of cool to celebrate it. And, not only that, but in the near future, play Game Boy games on your phone. All that, and actually a nice story about gamers and charity. I'm Jeremy. I'm Dan. And this is finally the dedicated server. About freaking time! Yeah! Once again, we've been going for seven minutes trying to intro the show to you, everybody. How are you, Dan? I am pretty good. I'm, yeah, uh, how was your holiday weekend? Busy. Yeah, busy. I hear you there. Really oh, busy. So, Dan, earlier I told you I didn't reach a, a personal goal of mine by the time we would have recorded. Would you like to know what it is? Um, The number of chalupas eaten. No, I hate chalupas. Chimichangas? I'm not Deadpool. No, Dan. My goal was to watch the Star Wars Force Awakens trailer 100 times before we recorded this episode. How and did I, you not manage that? I only made it to 84. I mean, it, it's... Um, what, an 80-second trailer? 88 seconds. 88-second trailer. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who listened last week to our special themed episode, go back and listen if you didn't. Um... I had tickets to go see it in the theater, and right after we were done recording, Lucasfilm and Disney announced they were going to post the trailer on iTunes at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I didn't make the 40-minute drive before work that morning to see the, to see Penguins of Madagascar. and <laughs> Which and apparently decided, did it horrible in theaters anyway. Yes, and then decided to just stay home. And sprint out of bed at 10.15 in the morning like I was 8 years old and it was Christmas. And watch the trailer. And it's glorious. I'm sure you've all watched it by now. No, I saw it an hour later when I woke up naturally. Yeah, well, you're lame. Anyway, okay, let's settle the debate right now. What do you think of the lightsaber? It works! I thank you! It, it so works! I mean, what are they going to do? Put steel hilt? A steel guard on it and have it cut off instantly? Yes! It, it has a vulnerable point, but still! Did you see the Stephen Colbert video? That was freaking awesome. Yes, and he explained it perfectly. Of course the beam of light hits some kind of crystal and it goes through all sides. There's no stop. Ugh. Thank you. Drives me nuts. Anyway. Eight... 80 plus times in, every time the Falcon appears on screen and the music swells, I still get chills down, up and down my spine. I promise by the next episode, next episode next week, I will have it watched 200 times. Did, did you see the, uh, the George Lucas five oh, trailer? Dude, that, that was, guys, if you haven't seen it, go, I mean, there's plenty of parody trailers now. Go on and watch the George Lucas version of the Force Awakens trailer. <laughs> and even if you think it's stupid, watch till the end. Because the end part with the Falcon is hilarious. But so true. Oh, and really quick, before we get into all this lame video game stuff. Um, on top of that, if you haven't seen it, there's a video going around called Darth Vader vs. Batman. Yes! And it's that freaking was freaking amazing! Yes! Holy crap! I want to see that guy. That guy needs to make a feature-length movie with... Batman fighting everybody from Star Wars. How did he do it? I I know nothing about the people who made this video, but it is amazing. Just very good planning ahead and a lot of time and effort in front of a computer screen making video effects. Let me tell you something. It ended the correct way, too, because for a minute there... Uh, not to spoil it for everybody, but the right person Spoilers! wins. If the right person wins. We all know who he thinks is the right person. It's Jeremy. And for, I'm not kidding you. Halfway through that video, I thought they were going to have the wrong person when I was pissed. Uh, I, anyway. Okay, I, I thought I thought the right person won, but I thought the other person should have made, like, a by the skin of his teeth escape. 
No. That's what he generally does. But that wouldn't have happened in real... No. Well, without spoiling it, go watch that video too. Just go... Stop watching our video and go watch all those cool Star Wars videos. No. Watch it after. Okay. After. <laughs> Any, anyway. <sighs> so video game stuff happened this week, I guess. Yes. Yes. Black Friday happened. Apparently a lot of people are getting Xboxes for Christmas. Which doesn't surprise me. No. no they had the better deals. By far. The, 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 the price was better. I would argue that the bundle wasn't better since it came with Assassin's Creed Unity. <laughs> <laughs> da- digital down. And that was the other thing. It was kind of weird. They came with digital codes and not the games. Okay. Like the, like a physical disc. Well, well, this is the thing behind it. Oh, hey, you get the same product, but we have to put less money into giving you that product. Yeah. I, I guess I can understand that. But they also said 90% of the consoles sold were bundles, and that's across consoles. Well, I... That's where the best deals were. Of course. Did you pick up your PlayStation 4 finally, Dan? No, no, I got my phone. Uh, what did you get again? The Galaxy S5. It is glorious. Is that new? I don't. I don't. I'm an. It's, I'm an not, it's Apple. not super new, but it's 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 the one of the later Galaxy ones. And how much did you pay for it? One dollar. I. See, I got my iPhone 5 for a dollar. I, I could win I could win a bet in trading places and buy this phone. <laughs> I haven't watched that movie in a while. Yeah, it's holiday season. Yeah, But, uh, interestingly enough, too, PlayStation 3 still made up 9% of the sales. PlayStation? Well, it's because they don't allow, um, legacy games. You yeah, can't, you can't play PS3 games on a PS4. Yeah, and I mean know, it was. The consoles have a certain life expectancy. Wasn't even close at all between Xbox and PlayStation, according to the numbers I'm looking at. Xbox sold 53% of the consoles on Black Friday, and PlayStation 4 was at about 31. It, it, that doesn't surprise me. Like the deals, but it was it just price. I mean. The deals on the PlayStation 4 weren't... They weren't that far off from Xbox. Fair enough. Price-wise. It wasn't that far. I mean, it was... In some cases, it was only $30 once you incorporated gift cards and Yeah, bonuses. once you incorporate all that. People don't want to always incorporate all that. And also, if you look at a parent saying, Oh, hey, I can get this console for my, my child for $50 less for the holiday season. They're probably going to get it. Unless they know themselves which one is better. Okay. Well, I'm not getting an Xbox for Christmas, so we don't have to worry there. And you know what game I would not be playing on it? Assassin's Every- Creed Unity? Dr- dr- yeah, drinking game, everybody. I I think <laughs> there should be a dedicated server drinking game where every time we say either the word Assassin or Creed or Assassin's Creed... Or any variation of it, you have to... No, just... no, anytime we say Ubisoft. Anything involved with Assassin's Creed Ubisoft, you have to drink. <laughs> how how did how did Ubisoft's week go, Dan? Well, they uh, they missed out on a lot of money. Because they, they admitted they fucked up with the Assassin's Creed Unity. And how buggy it is, and how unplayable it could be. And they gave people free video games. And free DLC. But see, that that's okay. I mean, they got rid of the season pass. Yes. And they're giving somebody a free... You can get Far Cry 4. You can get yes. the crew. But, like, it makes me kind of wish I would... I bought Assassin's Creed Unity just for this. No, it makes me wish I would have bought the season pass. Not Assassin's Creed Unity. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but that, that, was, that was nice of them. They... They gave people yes. that bought an incomplete game uh, another game that's probably incomplete. Good customer service. I <laughs> I commend them for that. But in reality, all they're doing is just buying it. Buying people's money for the next one. Which they also announced this week. They, oh, they, wait. They, they leaked. They, announced it. they oh, leaked it. It leaked. Quote, it, it, quote. It, it, it got leaked. No one knows by who. Even though you, you kind of know who. Yeah, we're we're gonna go ahead and say that Ubisoft leaked that themselves. It, the timing was just too perfect, and you know what? Let, let's face it, it's a year away. 
uh, only a year away, and they haven't said anything about it yet. It, yeah, it was a leak. Uh, I guess they don't listen to my our our show, Dan. I gave them so many good ideas on how to take two or three years off and build up anticipation, demand, and actually make a complete game and are, make it right. Are you kidding? That would hurt their cash flow. Uh, it's so frustrating to watch a series like this. Just it's it's dying. Mm-hmm. I I I honestly believe that that series is dying on the vine. Yes. Absolutely. I don't care what the sales say. I don't. I don't know. No, I know one uh, Assassin's, person. Assassin's Creed One, really good game at the time. Assassin's Creed Two, years later, they came out the second one, much better than the first. After that, eh. I I only know one person that's played the new one that actually enjoyed it. How many people do you know who played the new one? Actually, quite a few. Okay. I. I Is damn, this the person who gave you the riot act? Yes, it was Ed, yes. Okay. But, uh, I work in a comic book store, Dan. All I hear about all day is comic books and video games. That's just all I hear about. Speaking of which, I met one of our viewers today, uh, a lot earlier this week, on my, uh, at my job. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Was he a nice fellow? Yes, he was also a little bit inebriated by the time we got to the fact that he watched the show. Well, that's good. So... So you just outed him as somebody who drinks too much. So that's that's good. <laughs> no, he was on vacation. Oh, there, everybody's always on vacation when they're inebriated. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he was uh, toast. Maybe he was toasting the twentieth anniversary of PlayStation. See that? That's what they call a segue, and that was dynamite. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll give you that one. Um... 20 years! The PlayStation's been around for 20 years! Do you know how old that makes me feel? Yeah, I was... That was the second console I owned? I was 10 when that came out. Sounds about right. Oh. 10? 10? Yeah, thank you. Yes, I am 30. Thank you for reminding me. No, I'm just saying, like, how young I was. I I think I was like 6 or 7 when I got it. And that was your second console? What yeah. was your first console? Super Nintendo. Nice. My first personal console that was just mine was Super Nintendo. And then after that, what did I have next? I th- maybe it was a PlayStation. I think my second console was also a PlayStation. Huh. And then Dreamcast. Uh, I, I never got into Dreamcast. It just looked funny to me. It, it was ahead of its time, but that's <laughs> that's a discussion for another episode. <laughs> anyway, what were what were some of the games you liked playing for the original PlayStation? I I absolutely love the Resident Evils. Crash Bandicoot. Oh, dude, Crash Bandicoot. One and two. Uh, for a time, for like a week, ten year old me thought Crash Bandicoot was better than Mario. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Do you remember those demo discs? Like you always got in, like the back of a magazine, yes. gaming magazine. Official U.S. PlayStation you, magazine, yes. baby. Do you know how many game hours I had on those demo discs? Me too. <laughs> Ridge Racer. Oh, Jet Moto. Oh. <laughs> oh, what was the other one? Um, the greatest thing. Me and my brother would spend hours upon hours playing Jet Moto and trying to get it so that we'd crash and the, it would, the game would glitch and you'd fly like 500 feet in the air. <laughs> that was good times. Um, what was that I mean, game where where the undead soldier, he he got... Sh- the one soldier got killed on the first charge and he got raised from the dead to fight for something and his name was Dan. That's all I remember. Oh, I know what game you're talking about. I, I actually played it. Like a month ago, again. Yeah, I saw it at a uh, a buybacks, and I was like, "Holy crap! I haven't seen this game in years." And I Sir probably... Daniel. Ah. Uh, and think, think about how many awesome franchises oh. started on that system. Actually, I, I'll tell you what my favorite game for a while was on PlayStation. It was okay. Top Gun. Top Gun. Yes. As in beach volleyball. Except there was no beach volleyball, only flying planes and shooting stuff down. I think in this relationship, I'm Maverick and you're Goose. 
I don't know. It was a pretty freaking awesome pilot. Uh, you're goose. I'm a good pilot. You're tall and you look like a goose. You're goose. <laughs> I look you, like a goose? You look more like Anthony Edwards than I do. <sighs> I'm shaving my beard. And my mustache. Twisted Metal, Tomb Raider, uh, Final I, Fantasy VII. Okay, Tomb Raider, did you ever actually do anything other than just roam around the mansion? No. no neither, neither did I. Oh, oh okay. We haven't done the episode... We haven't recorded the episode yet for our top five games of all time. Legacy of Kane to Soul Reaver. For PlayStation. Never played it. Oh my god. I I have dreams still that I'm playing that game and it makes me happy, more happy than anything in the universe. Maybe even Star Wars. No, that's not no, true. No, no, But no. anyway. Hey, happy 20th birthday, PlayStation have as many cakes as you like and for those of you who also want to celebrate you can try and get on the list and get one of the playstation one themed playstation fours but good luck and they're already selling for like 900 dollars on ebay so i kind of i, I kind of want it but it's in actually looking at it, all it is is a ps4 painted gray yeah it's cool it's it, it is cool it is and yes you're right it's nostalgic but but I won't have one. That's like, oh, quick tangent back to Black Friday. Um, GameStop got in their Nintendo 3DS XLs with the classic NES controller design, and I want one really bad. Okay. Well, speaking of Nintendo and handheld games, then... Segway! We should really have people, like, make different Segway sound bits for us. Somebody isolate that audio of me just saying segue, and we'll use that one. I'll do it. <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, Nintendo has filed for a patent for an emulator on PC and mobile phones to play Game Boy games. Which, at first, I was like, if you wanted to play games, why wouldn't you just buy a Game Boy? And I replied <laughs> with, um, Game Boy cartridges have a limited life. Very true. Yes. And also, let's say you want to play the old classics, but you don't have it anymore, the cartridge doesn't work anymore, or you sold yours to upgrade, you can play these older games very easily. They're they're putting it into a new format to be able to play be played on any system. And you know what? Mobile phones, they're the platform that everyone has these days. That's true. You reach more gamers on a mobile phone than anything else. That's that's a true statement. And you know what? I, it'll give me a break for my Clash of Clans. And you know what? When, when they release the original red, blue, yellow, I will buy all three of them. And I'll trade with myself. That's something about that just seems wrong. Well, actually, I'm going to download I do, Pokemon I do, and trade with myself. I, I do have people who actually will play the original Pokemon games. I know people that still play uh, the original Pokemon games. I have a friend named Dean that just... I've never met anybody who's more obsessed with Pokemon. It's its its actually kind of frightening, but if he could download those to his phone, I'd probably never hear from him again. <laughs> I can't answer your call. I'm fighting the Elite Four. Quick, ta quick tangent about Dean and Pokemon. I know nothing about Pokemon. I... Even when the originals came out, I barely played them. I didn't oh, get it. I didn't like it. I love it. the originals. My little brother, I played it with my little brother literally just to trade him Pokemon. He came into the comic book stories he, and one day, and he was he had on a Slowpoke, a t-shirt with Slowpoke on it, wearing a Flash costume. <laughs> now you laugh because you I've get seen that. It. I've seen it. I had no idea... What was going on in that t-shirt? I looked at him and I said, Who is that, Charizard? <laughs> really? And the joke was completely lost on me. He goes, No, man, it's Slowpoke. He's wearing a Flash... He's wearing a Flash costume. It's funny. I was like, Oh. I... I... I had no idea. And he goes, What do you even know about Pokemon? I said, I know the one dinosaur has a plant on his back. 
Bulbasaur. No so one yeah, picks Bulbasaur. I my, feel my, bad for Bulbasaur. My Pokemon knowledge is not vast. We'll put it that way. Let's, you know, we always talk about Ubisoft being dicks and Assassin's Creed games sucking and games not being finished anymore. I also being think all that buggy. I think that covers a good seventy percent of our content. Yes. You mean Ubisoft and Assassin's Creed? or <laughs> um, Let's end on a little bit of a high note. Dan, why don't you tell us about the $160,000 that RuneScape players raised for charity? Oh, uh, you want me to tell you about something when it's your turn? Yes. Mostly, be- mostly because I don't remember the name of the charity. Okay. Um, they raised $160,000 by dropping coins in a virtual wishing well that they have called the Well of Goodwill. Uh, basically, they said for every so and so so much gold that is in here, it'll, it, ah, it'll equal a certain amount of money, and we'll donate that money. You get to choose how your donation is split. And they dropped 512 billion gold, which equaled $160 and... It was split between Donate Gamers, Able Gamers, and Young Minds. That, Would, you, see, you see, that's awesome. It is. Why don't more people... Okay, all these World of Warcraft type games and MMO RPGs and all that, why don't they do this more often? Think about how much money they could raise for all these charities. I've, I've seen it a handful of times. It, it's I've never before. heard of World of Warcraft players doing it. Oh, World of Warcraft. Like no, World of Warcraft are... The only art MMO game that is more um, can be more cruel and callous than World of Warcraft at times is freaking Eve Online. I don't even know what that is. It it is people are jerks in that game. You, the entire point of the game is to screw over as many other people and steal your money, steal their money. Oh, yeah. This is why I don't PC game. Yeah. It's what happens when you put people in a. Sandbox environment with a real world economy and spaceships and massive guns and tell them, do what you will. Do what you will. Well, it's nice to hear that gamers are helping people out, yes. especially this time of year. This is when you hear these kinds of things. Not only that, last year they also raised $90,000 the same way. This isn't the first time they've done it. And that's awesome. They, hey, kudos to you guys. I'm clapping. You might not be able to hear yes, it, but and, I am clapping. And, you know RuneScape has been around for a freaking long time, and I'm glad that they're starting to give it back. RuneScape was the first MMO I played. This is the reason why I play MMOs from time to time still. Well, did you donate? I just don't play RuneScape anymore. I didn't even know about it until I heard about it. See? You ruined the feel-good story we're ending with. I know. Oh, Dan. Well, it's a bit of an old game, okay? Jeez. Way to make me feel like a Grinch. You kind of are a Grinch. A little. Everybody, like our page on Facebook and tell Dan that he's not a Grinch. Tell him we love him. They're going to tell me I'm a Grinch. Yeah, they're going to tell me. Yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and leave a like. Go ahead and leave us a comment down below and let us know what your favorite PlayStation 1 games were. And if you really want to have a conversation about our PlayStation games, go ahead and talk to us on Twitter. Oh my god, you remember Twitter! It, it hurt coming out, but go ahead. He's at Jeremy Ohio and I'm at Radical Dan with two, with two ends. ends! More end for your money. <laughs> Until next week, I'm Jeremy. And I'm Dan. And this was the dedicated server this time. Down, down, down.